I'm trapped in Peppa Pig's house. Please help. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kid, and welcome to Peppa Pig's house. This is weird. What do you have to say for yourself, Peppa? Hello, friend. My name is Peppa Pig, and I am locked in my room. Daddy Pig and Mommy Pig went crazy, and now they are trying to kill me and my brother. Oh, man, I hate it when that happens. They fill your room with lava. It's rude, honestly. They filled lava's room. Who's lava? <laughs> I don't know why there is an indication of someone named Lava in this world. It's very weird, but uh, let's embrace the weirdness. I do see there's a whole bunch of lava down there. Let's, I guess, go this way. If you want to buy clothes. No, I don't want to buy clothes. Where do I go to play the game? Play the, play survive the Peppa Pig.exe? No. Survive and kill the Peppa Pig in Area 50. That's a Peppa Pig and a UFO. Man, Roblox is weird and I kind of love it. Um, I think I need to go this way then, maybe? Oh yeah, okay. Go down the ladder and then uh, we're gonna jump across some blocks and then perhaps a rocket ship. Use the Legos to save your life. Where's my end goal here? Wait, yeah? Do I need to go to this yellow door? That's probably a good way to go. Yes, yes it is. What more? It looks like Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig filled the trap room. Why do you guys have a room specifically for traps in your house? Like, of course the trap room would be full of traps. It's called the trap room. All right, fair enough. Nyan cat just flying through outer space as I jump across the checkerboard of doom. This is not too bad, right? I think I can do this first try. Look at me. Expert obby master. Or there is no acid in the way. Use the controls to get to the other side. What are you saying, Pep? Are you okay? Daddy pig always loses controls. Fair. That's a fair point. He does lose controls. I think you're talking about the TV remote. Is that what you're talking about, little George? Something ain't right about these two. Just uh, getting weird vibes. I don't think they're okay. Anyways, uh, let's watch some TV on my BEP backup electric power company. Okay, my favorite TV brand. Step aside, Sony, Toshiba, LG, Samsung. You got nothing on BEP. Look at the fidelity here. Look at the crystal clear images. Okay, what am I talking about? I need to save the remotes from the acid. <laughs> So weird. Uh, get me out of the trap room. Hashtag stay at home. Fair enough. But if this was my home, I, I might not want to stay here. I might want to get out, you know, because of the acid and the lava and my mom and dad trying to kill me. Nice job. Thanks, Peppa. Thank you. I love this little icon. Just a happy spinning little Peppa. All right. What's next? Oh, there's knives. Of course, there's knives everywhere. You have anything to say, Peppa? <laughs> Nothing? You're just gonna act like this is totally normal? Okay, great, sure. Climb the knives. That's that's the face that she's given me. She didn't say anything, but she didn't need to. I knew exactly what she wanted me to do. And don't touch the red lines. They are deadly. What is happening here? Is that Mama Pig? Th yeah, I think that's Mommy Pig. I, I think she's having a great day, honestly. She looks happy and looks totally normal. I think the kids might be the problem here. Okay, um, let's climb some flying fruit. Makes sense. All right. Are we, am I going into the vent? I'm, we're venting. This seems kind of sus. <laughs> oh, completely outdated terms from a game that is kind of not all that relevant anymore. I mean, Among Us is still pretty popular, but not nearly as popular as it used to be. Which way do I go? I was never good at being an imposter in Among Us, to be perfectly honest. That's a dead end. And I was always scared of venting. I felt like I was going to get caught immediately. It's such an obvious thing that an imposter can do. And I felt like any time I did it, there was someone standing right there going, is that guy? And I'm like, no, no, it was a it was a graphical glitch. Should I go down? You know what? I'm going down. Oh gosh. What? I landed inside of Daddy Pig's mouth? That's disgusting. I did just get eaten by a giant pig. Okay, good. I was I was a little worried. Like, when are we going to get eaten by something and then obviously uh, pooped out? 
It always happens. Every obby, it's gonna happen. Oh, it doesn't seem that we are... It, it, it exactly seems like we are inside Daddy Pig. He ate us. Are you okay? I don't think she's okay. You have to find a way to escape. You get eaten by something in Roblox, there's only one way out. You're not gonna like it. Let's go. Do I drop down? Yes. Okay, dodge the lasers. Like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Look at that. That was amazing. First try. Look at that pose. That's a power pose right there. That's someone who has executed jumping down a giant pig's esophagus perfectly. Thank you. No, please. No need to applaud. Let's go up the hot dog. Man, there is a lot of undigested food in Daddy Pig's belly, which is weird. And perhaps he should go see a doctor? Jump on the food to escape. It seems that we are in the stomach of the pig. You're not calling him Daddy Pig? pig anymore he's just the pig now okay uh, you know a few seconds ago up at the top uh you know when we were still inside of his mouth uh, you seemed unconvinced that we were inside of the pig in fact that's exactly what you said it doesn't seem we are inside of daddy pig is what she said and now she's i guess convinced jump to the cheese delicious <gasps> what the cheese is a lie where do i go then like seriously um i gotta get to the cookies oh the cheese actually did peer. That's weird. <laughs> I don't feel like I can make this jump to the cookie. That honestly doesn't seem possible. What? The game is broken? There's nothing here for me to get across this cap. Do I have to buy a gravity coil? You really gonna do me dirty like that? I mean, I will. What about the people who don't have Robux? That's super messed up. I don't know. I don't know if that's intentional. It It is pretty messed up that like you're not able to make this jump unless you spend and Robux. Um, I need to come back down to the ground, please. Thank you. All right. I made the jump. Look at me. Gaming. Quick reminder, uh, in case you guys do purchase Robux ever, you can use star code KEYIN at checkout. K-E-Y-I-N. Helps directly support the channel, and uh, I, I super appreciate it. So thanks to uh, those of you who have already used star code KEYIN. Uh, uh, it's super awesome of you. All right. I've made it out of the stomach. I'm pretty sure I know what comes next, and I'm not excited. <laughs> Avoid touching the poop. Good advice, George. Good advice. Oh, heavens, it smells very bad. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say I'm glad that Roblox has not yet invented the, the power of, like, smelling in the roblox -iverse. You know, people talk about, like, smell -a vision Like, if that's something that will exist in the future, I don't think so. I don't think that's something that will ever exist. It shouldn't. Good work! Keep it up! We are almost out. You can. You can what? Peppa? Peppa? Did you run out of batteries in the middle of your sentence? Are you okay? She's not okay. She, she's definitely not okay. All right, jump over the... I'm just gonna assume these are licorice sticks. <laughs> or perhaps like, uh, what's those, what are those beef jerky sticks? What, what are they called? Slim Jim. They're Slim Jims. Daddy Pig loves Slim Jims and I am dead. Let's try that again. <laughs> Jump over the Slim Jims and save the world. That's what I've always said. All right. Are we, oh no. <laughs> okay. <gasps> what am I looking at? We need to do the Mission Impossible thing again. Dodge the Slim Jims. Land. You can! What? You can what? What is wrong with these pigs? They keep leaving me hanging. Uh, we almost made it. Only one more obstacle is missing. It's a weird way to phrase that, but okay. Um, jump the Slim Jims? Nope, don't jump the Slim Jims. I'm just gonna come out and say it. This is really, really upsetting. I don't wanna be here anymore. Get me out. Doing a bad job of getting out. This thing pushes you forward when you step on it, but the problem is when you jump, you lose all your momentum. <laughs> so it's very hard to time the jump when you immediately land. Okay, here we go. Now we got the rhythm. Now we feeling it. Go, press the button. We've escaped. For the record, Daddy Pig, um, you are disgusting. <laughs> What's wrong with his face? <laughs> that is so weird. What happened to your face? Why do you have a nose coming out of the side of your cheek? It's like they tried to translate the 2D version of Daddy Pig into a 3D model. And this is what it became. And I don't think it works. It just looks like a Mr. Potato Head when you like mix up all the face parts. He's sitting on a toilet. I just realized where we are and I want out. 
I guess it kind of makes sense though, based on the experience we just had. So let's, uh, let's get out of here. I'm just gonna climb across all the things that I can use in this world to escape. Uh, we need to run away from Daddy Pig. That makes sense. He's not really chasing us though. I think he's uh, got other things to take care of right now. He's been sitting there for a long time. Poor guy. After making my way through his digestive system, I can understand why he perhaps is having some indigestion. My dude had a giant undigested pizza in his stomach. Avoid touching the shampoo and water. Honestly, after that experience, I feel like I need to touch the shampoo and water. In fact, I'm gonna do it. I just needed to clean up a little bit. All right, I feel much better now that I've detached all of my parts and scrubbed them. Scrubbed them real good. All right, get me out of here. Whoa, that was a really bad jump and uh, I was not punished for it. Um, more floating objects. Little strange. I don't mind as long as it gets me out of this nightmare. I can scrub my feet clean using the, the toothbrush. There you go. All right. I feel spick and span. Nice job. Thanks, George. What's going on here? Jumping across these toothbrushes? I guess so. All right. Did I win? Jump into the water below and don't touch the ground or you'll die. Are you giving me advice, George? Or was that a threat? I'm just gonna go. All right, okay, so I need to land in one of these puddles. I'm alive, I'm alive. Okay, <laughs> had to think about it for a second. Sometimes you never know. Am I dead? I'm not dead. I'm very much, perfect timing. Very much alive. Land in the water. There, there's no water there. Okay, well executed. Try that again. There you go. Okay, much better. Uh, the little water droplets on the edges of each of these platforms, uh, apparently you can't stand on those. So don't try to use them. That's my pro gamer tip. There you go. What is this thing? It's teleporter. We will see you at the end of the room. You have done a very great job. Wow, my my little cheerleaders. They, they're always making me feel good about myself after completing a very disgusting or strange obstacle course. Real friends, real friends. Um, there's a lot going on here. I love what they're watching right now. What? Okay, there's just spots on the tables that kill me dead. But seriously, what a fascinating television show. The trials and tribulations of the exotic, strange, and magnificent goldfish. It's just a picture of a goldfish. Okay, that seems real boring. How do I make that jump? Must I gravity coil again? Also, did you see my character? <laughs> Transformed me into a Roblox character from five years ago. That's the power of this floor. Don't touch it. I, this jump is insane. Wow. There is very little margin for error there. That is an intense jump. Am I gonna have to do that again? I feel like all these other jumps are actually getting easier. <laughs> That's really weird. Uh, but that one jump was nuts. All right, we made it. And now we can see the magnificent goldfish up close now. Oh man, it's even better from this distance. All right, more kind of crazy jumps. Gosh, these gaps are just barely close enough for you to make the jump. Ah, climbing more hot dogs. We did this inside of daddy's belly, which again explains why he's still sitting in the bathroom. All right. Uh, there's a parrot, sure. Probably don't want to pet the parrot, but I kind of do want to pet the parrot. Hello, parrot, can I pet you? <gasps> I can. And by pet, I mean stand on your head. We're best friends now. Climb over the, the tower of hot dogs. Who would leave this many hot dogs just sitting out on the table? What is wrong with this family? Actually, they have a lot of food. Just a lot of wasted, uneaten food. Ah, <laughs> I've been trapped inside of the ramen. No, oh. Oh, whew. I thought I was gonna drown in there. Okay, I wasn't expecting the ramen to just not support my weight. Just sank to the bottom of the ramen ocean. Where do I go? Do I climb these cupcakes? I guess that sort of makes sense. Oh yeah, all right, I did it. Oh my gosh. I think that's our escape right there. Can't help but feel like there was other windows that we probably could have used to get out of this house a lot quicker. Either way, we'll just keep going with the path that is expected of us. What is this? Is this really supposed to be a challenge? Just a little serpentine motion there. Okay, that was stupid easy. Um, jump across some money. Also seems pretty easy unless one of these jumps for no explainable reason is just like perfectly spaced in a way that you can't make the jump. I think we're okay though. Um, will I fall? No, this is like glass. <laughs> 
That is really clean glass. Because it does not look like there is anything here. Jump across the laser beams. Oh, what? You don't have laser beams on your coffee table? You got to get with the trends. Because the Peppa Pig family is setting the standard. All right? They know what's hip and with it. And they are hip and with it and I'm dead. Look at me. Is this the jump that killed me? Yeah, I think it was right here. Okay, we made it. Progress. Amazing. I get like a little boost when I stand on top of like the little peg of the Lego block. So I've discovered the secret to success now. Stand on the little bump of the Lego block valuable life lesson. Okay, this seems a little bit trickier than that previous little maze that we had to deal with. I guess we just don't want to touch the, the raised edges <laughs> like that. I was just demonstrating what you're not supposed to do. Totally did that on purpose dead. All right, this is where I died last time. It, it gets a little a little tight here. Tap. Just a few little taps. There you go. Take your time. You'll make it. See? Easy. What do you have to say for yourself, Peppa? Fast enters the glass. Who's fast? Where is he? Get him. Oh, oh, you want me to quickly enter the glass. Got it. All right. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. We're on the roof. What kind of window pops you out on top of the roof? Very confusing. I see the whole family there though. They look like they're having a great day, honestly. Me on the other hand, not so great. Mostly because of the situation with Daddy Pig. Would not recommend. Do I just jump? Where do I go? <laughs> I'm just gonna jump and hope for the best. Wait, no, I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> I beat the game. I'm the best. And this is my new family. What are you doing, Mama Pig? Giving me a hug? No, you're slapping me. How dare you? Stand on top of Peppa's head. I earned this, okay? I've been through a lot today. The least you can give me is the ability to stand on Peppa Pig's head. This, I believe, is the official end. Do you have something to say for yourself? <laughs> oh, okay. Get out of my face. And so I make my grand escape from the most nightmarish house I've ever been to.